everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to Microsoft Play of the Day in the Stock Swish Show trading room. Boy, September is off to a nice good start and I really had a feeling this was going to be a good month about a week and a half ago. Yeah, like two weeks ago. It was the third week in August was just really good and things were going to bigger targets and I said that it was like a sign. It was like a sign that the month of September things were going to work out really well. And I really had no expectations today, day after a holiday. Market was closed yesterday. Um, had a long weekend of getting anything of any significance today. And yet, I woke up this morning and saw this and liked it immediately. So let's just look at this chart. Here we have the Microsoft and did this back in July. Okay, this was the day of the earnings of the gap down that happened here July 19th. And it ended up working out really, really well, but didn't follow through down to the bigger target on the day or even as a swing trade in, into this position in here, which the target really was here. It was like 30, 30, 30, 25. It never really got down there. And it was unusual because it barely hung on here three days afterwards, couldn't get a rally at all, gap down then on the 25th, but then never even got to the low of the day here, didn't get to the low, didn't break 31, couldn't get anywhere with itself. And rested, rested, rested. And then this, I watched and saw and said, wait a minute. And this actually is a crappy daily buy setup. There's no way in the world you can do something like this. And it really doesn't make any sense. And then this far happened here. And I don't remember what happened this day, but it was weird. So then you just kind of wait and see what this is going to do. And it's trying to figure itself out. And then all of a sudden this gapped up here. This was last, no, this was two weeks ago. No, yeah, it was the 23rd. And this was on some news thing. Here. So now what do you do? Well, you, you don't do anything. This thing then has gapped up and for all intents and purposes, it was going to hold. It tried to hold, it tried to hold, it tried to hold here and then it didn't hold. And then you got to just stay away from this thing. There was no read on this then for like about a week. And then when I saw this gap down today, it was all over it. Okay. It was all over this thing. And actually it's retraced up back in itself here neutral now for the day. It did not go and break 3125 was actually it almost got to the to the dream target here 3125 got within 4 cents. I I thought it might go to 31 today, but I really thought 31 3150 3125 those were the areas and then 31. But this is a beautiful move. Beautiful move was so patient and had a nice nice just a terrific entry in this today. Terrific entry in this today. Really, really got to handle myself for being so patient. And the funny thing is, you know, it is hard to be patient on a Monday slash Tuesday, really the first day of the week, because I like to get aggressive and stuff. However, I was willing to be a little bit patient with this, okay, because I saw the market this morning, which rallied hard up into the open and wanted to make sure this really, really held the area. And it did, actually. I was going to give this way higher as far as resistance. I had a lot of numbers written down for this, but it did hold the real, real one I wanted it to hold, which was 3210. Okay, it held 3210, and it did hold it early. In fact, what time? I forget. Let's see. I knew it wasn't going to hold 32, and I didn't expect it to. It, it hit the high of the day, made the high of the day in plenty of time. Yeah, it did it before 9.45. In fact, what did I have on the sheet? Here's exactly what I wrote down. Wait for it to pop a rally first. I did. And set up by 9.35, 9.40. Set up by 9.45. However, it's, if it sets up ASAP, then I'm not going to do it. I did say that this morning. Why? There was over 8 million people in here pre-market. And I expected some people to push out up against it. So I said I was going to wait. Wait for a retest or a second setup or wait for the confirmation. And, and we got it. So it was a beautiful play. And if you don't know what to do with this, then you're, you're not sure what to do with this. If you thought this was a buy today, you got hurt in it. And you got hurt in it under 80 because I could see that people were trying to buy this here and then it just went crash through that number and I was already in it short. So this had a wonderful, wonderful uh, risk to reward in it today. And I didn't even get this whole thing down to the whole tippy, tippy, tippy bottom, but it doesn't matter. I had a beautiful entry and did it have a good risk to reward and was out, I think, what time was I out of this? About 10.30ish or something like that it was. It was a nice trade. It was a really, really nice trade. 
and uh, really exceeded my expectations for it basically on Monday, Tuesday morning. The fact that this is closing like this, like a doji, doesn't really have, mean anything here. This is still lower. And now it looks like it's going to get to the target, the target that it should have gotten to the day here, the gap. So this is one of these ones where if you don't know how to read what's going on here, it has been messy and sloppy. And after this gap up happened here, you, you just stay away from it. But today was all over it. it, was all over this thing. And when these things do these things like this, after it does something like this, it is going to do something in between itself. And then there was a rest period here. Here was a rest period. It didn't last long. Those rest periods usually don't last long where they're in a neutral position. But you can tell that people bought in here. It's obvious. It's a crappy buy set up to buy in here. But you can tell people bought in here and they bought in here on the 50 on the 8. It, it's a crappy one, though, because this chart's a mess, okay? And it's lower now. I mean, it looks a lot better today. Had a nice short in it today. Rallied back up here in the afternoon, but it's really of no consequence. And this is definitely lower. And this is one of these ones where, you you know, you could take this as an overnight here. I wouldn't be surprised if tomorrow this followed through. In fact, I'll watch this as a continuation gap this week. You know, here is the target. The only way it gets here, though, is once it breaks 31. It has to break 31 convincingly. And it could just do it on the day or gap. But I think it's just going to do it on the day. And you really had to be patient today. You know, I like to get in stuff right away and like it to go immediately. And I had to be patient and patient and patient and patient and patient until it broke. And really had a nice risk to reward in this trade. It was really a good morning for the beginning of the week. Beautiful start to September. Sign of things to come. You know, fall is a great time to trade. It's a busy season in the market. There's lots of people that participate and want to be in the market during the fall season. I don't know why I want to be in the market every time there's a good gap. But, you know, in, the, in this fall, people love to trade in September, love to trade in October, love to trade in November. And uh, Microsoft had a wonderful move this morning and a great risk reward if you were patient, knew the numbers, and knew what to look for, and had it in the right direction. This was a short today. There's no question about it. But it was obvious to me that some people were trying to buy it in there early in the day. And if they were, they were flipped around. This was not a buy in support. This was a short. This was a bearish gap. It actually rated 21 points. It was a nice gap in here. This is a stock swoosh. And if anyone's interested in the upcoming gap class for September, it is September 14th and 15th. Email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. This is Microsoft. Another beautiful gap in Microsoft here. Great start to the week. Great start to the month. Great start to September and the fall season. Sign of things to come. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great week, everybody.